If you feel like you're constantly running a marathon just to keep up professionally and personally, we've got some good news because our next guest is here to help. Best-selling author and self-care strategist, Dia Smith. She joins me with answers to managing your time effectively, increasing productivity, and reducing stress. Good morning to you. Check, check, check. I need all three. How are you? <laughs> What's up, Paige? How are you this I morning? I am doing so great. So, you know, one of the things that I think we as women have difficult time with is that we feel like we have to do it all. And the whole, the, the, the word guilt seems like it's just positioned on top of our heads, that we've got to get everything done. But, in, and as a consequence, we sometimes have a tendency to spread ourselves too thin, and that can have some really dire consequences associated with that. That's right, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. anxiety, um, stress, mm -hmm. burnout. So we can do it all, we just can't do it all at the same time. And even if you try, you're not doing it all at the same level. So to the degree that you wanna do things well or with excellence um, and show up as your best self is the degree to which you should manage your time in a way that serves you well mm -hmm. and that sets you up for success. You know, that's so interesting, the whole notion of time management. Mm -hmm. That is the solution to all of the different stresses that we are encountering every single day. On top of being able and giving yourself permission to say no to certain things. That part. But that kind of builds into the whole notion of time management. Let's talk about a few tips that you have. This first one you talk about is when you wake up, do the three M's. What do you mean by that? Yeah, your three power M's. Mm -hmm. uh, meditation or mindfulness, mm -hmm. um, movement, and motivation. So these are things that can fill you up so that you're not pouring from an empty cup. So your mindfulness or meditation is you spending time being quiet quiet, really getting in touch with yourself, not just your mind, but also your body, waking up to yourself in the morning, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we're responding to other people's energy in the morning, so if you're looking at email or if you're responding to somebody else's needs, you haven't really be giving yourself a chance to be because we're so focused on doing right so mm -hmm. it's about being not just doing and then uh, motivation like what gets you pumped up in the morning is it a motiva motivational speech is it music whatever that thing is is it an affirmation do something that speaks to your mind and your spirit and kind of gets you going right and then move your body because not moving your body is not just good for your body mm -hmm. but it's also good for your brain and it's waking yourself up to the day and if you don't can't move a lot stretch like do something to align yourself with your being all of that seems to go together so well all right it let's does. get to the other two pretty quickly here we got also reducing multitasking you say that multitasking can be dangerous ground listen Paige we all like to think we can do it all but we can't and mm -hmm. here's the thing your brain can only do one thing at a time mm -hmm. and so you can do multiple tasks but you can't do them all at the same time mm -hmm. and so I think of it as I liken it to a computer right so what happens when your computer is open for a long time with a whole lot of different pages right right it heats up it gets overwhelmed it slows down where the computer page mm -hmm. we're the computer we are the computer we're the computer so the same effects. too many windows open right. right it slows us down you're not able to maximize yourself so close a window and then go on to the next task. Okay. Close a window, take a break, free up your brain a little bit, and then go on to the next task. That's so smart. You also say free yourself of unnecessary distractions. That's right. Like airplane mode. Mm -hmm. Put your phone on airplane <laughs> mode, right? Right. Uh, calendarize your uh -huh. time right. so that you're not just doing meetings all day. But right. how about on your calendar? I'm working on X, Y, or Z mm -hmm. so that people aren't filling up your calendar with things to do because what happens happens is we're doing meetings all day mm -hmm. and then there's no time to actually do the work. I think that's such a smart thing and speaking of meetings that can also be a time suck. I know that that's another one of your tips is to avoid meetings. I also like when it comes to lists at the end of the day do your what you did do list. That's all right. the things that you accomplished that can make you feel so much better that's about right. your day. It does. And the last one is you say resist being too time optimistic what does that mean know yourself be honest right mm -hmm. so you know what it takes to get you going sometimes we get distracted sometimes mm -hmm. we've got other little things that we need to do so be realistic about what you can do and when so i say pad your time right, right? so it's better to get things done on time or early than to say that you can get something done because you're being time optimistic and you're late. All right. And so it's the same thing with meetings. Yeah, we gotta have meetings, but when are you having those All meetings right. and when is the best time that serves you Okay, well? real quick, where can we get your book? Oh, on Amazon. All right, that's yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. I thank you so or much. By the way, 